All right, we gotta locate this gas service. Anytime we're locating this gas service, we're gonna look at it, determine what kind of rise we're, we're dealing with. If it's plastic, PE, copper, pack, steel. And right there I can see, I can see the black coating on this. Right here, the black coating. So I'm dealing with the Now if then I had this black, black wrap on it, right here, then you know it's probably pack or pack or PE. I don't think they have copper anymore, but it could be copper in some areas. And as you can see, I have no place to ground out here. Everything's all asphalt, no place to ground out. And you definitely, this is power right, right here. Power, so you definitely do not want to ground out on this ground ground here. If you ground out here, you can be marking out this power line. And that's, that will be a big, big mistake. Marking out this power line. This marking a gas, gas service. That's a no-no. That's a big, big mistake. So what I'm gonna do, and I set my videos, <clears throat> you see the regulator? Anything after the regulator here is all insulated. So when you ground out out here, your tone's not traveling down. It's traveling back that way <clears throat> because this regulator is insulated. It's an insulated regulator. If you can't get a good tone when you ground out back here, then this insulator is not properly insulating this service here, this um, riser. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm going to go behind the regulator. So find a spot behind the regulator. Right here seems a good spot. I'm clip right here, ground right there. Get my run lead. Put it right on the right on the valve here. All right, so I'm on the valve, and I'm not getting kind of I'm not getting kind of nudity. So it's my grounding. Okay. So you can hear the box going. So I know it's my ground. You can see the sparks flying. All right, now that's a good ground. And my, I'm pushing out 100 milliamps and my voltage is 1.0. The voltage is really good, so I got a good connection to this riser, really good connection. So this riser, this service should take me out singing all the way out past the fence. The main's beyond the fence there. So since since I'm in the open here, I'm gonna sweep probably 50 feet away. So I'm gonna start my sweep over here. So you see how I'm sweep, start my sweep way over here. And you can see how low I'm on. I'm at 70, 69 on my transmitter. So when I'm sweeping, you can see my receiver being parallel, being straight, you know? I'm not on the crack, I'm not angled at this. I'm keeping straight with my body. And I'm gonna walk in the square box. Now I'm going to turn straight in the square box. Because, if, if folks, if you go on an angle like this, you, you ain't do nothing. You ain't picking nothing up. You go to this mark and, and mark out a power line. So you want to make sure this is straight. And just make a square box out of it. Look at that. It went right off the chart right there, right off the bat. Told you, great continuity. So I'm gonna put my dot right here. 
I'm gonna look at my milliamps. I'm pushing out, getting 108 milliamps. I'm at three feet. My peak graph is beautiful. My air, my compass is with that service. So that's my first tone. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my sweep. And apparently, obviously you see I got a building here, so I can't do a 360. So this is a, a quarter sweep. And right there, that's the only tone I got, was right at the start there. So that's the only tone, and see how I did a square box? I start from that building, came straight down to a point, stopped at that point, came this way to the building. So I completed my sweep. It's not a 360, because you gotta use common sense. You know, if, you, if I didn't get a tone here, then, then I would have went all the way around the building to do the whole sweep and see if it came out the other end. And it's a possibility that the service might have, might have went out to the other end. So that's where you would, you know, walk around the building and completely sweep the whole building around. But in my case, I got a great tone here. My machines tell me the service is right here. So I'm about 30 feet away from the service, 106 milliamps, three feet. Now I can see if it knows here. And see how the, the nose is really good? My peak graph is moving with the arrows. I know, I know, I'm, I'm dead nice on my tone. I know my cave, my service is right here. You can't beat there, folks. No is confirming my peak. And it's saying my service is right here. Now after, you know, 50 feet or so, you always want to double check to make sure you're still on it. So I'm going to peek it out. Look at my milliamps. My milliamps is nine, um, 98, so it's good milliamps. I'm far away from my transmitter, so I'm, I'm losing milliamps. And it's, it's typical. Three feet. That's how I'm getting three feet. Arrow straight. And peak graph right in line with the arrow. So I know this is my target point. Let's see if it knows here. And beautiful nose still. You can see my arrows going and the compass is moving with the arrows. See the arrows? Saying it's this way, far away, my peak graph goes up. So I'm far away from the utility. Arrows going back, peak graph goes away. Arrows saying, hey, your current is the other way. Arrow points. My peak graph agrees with the arrows saying, hey, your utility is right here. I go all the way down. And then my bar goes all the way. Sometimes this bar won't go all the way unless you're really in line. Sometimes you might have, you know, one bar. But usually if it goes all the way down, you might have to turn it one, a little bit. But don't force it. Just turn it see if it goes down a little bit. But usually it should go down. And that's telling that I'm in line with my target. The arrow is pointing. The compass is going this way. And my peak graph is all the way down. It means I'm in the line with my, with my um, service. Um, it works most of the time. Sometimes you might have one or two bars um, on the receiver. You know, nothing's perfect in life. So I have dotted out. Now 
Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna verify my peak and null. I'm gonna null it back, see if it agrees with my peak. And like I said in my videos, if my null would not agree with peak, I have to troubleshoot the service and find out why my null is not nulling over my peak tone. You know, most of the times, if, you're, if you doesn't null over your peak tone, you bled off onto a different lethality. So remember that, folks, remember that. So my, my null is, is perfectly in line with my peak. You know, I can't argue with it. That's a perfect null. No, no. if, the, if the peak graph and arrow goes back and forth like this, folk, like this, you're on your target. If the peak graph's not moving and your arrows move, you have to question it. But since my arrows and peak graphs are moving, I know I'm dead nuts. Once again, if this peak graph on top doesn't move with the arrows, then you bled out to a different utility. Or you gotta troubleshoot and investigate why, what's going on. So you can see where this is running at, on the angle. So here's my here's my here's my null right here, and here's my peak tone. So you can see the two different dots here. What I what I'm going to do is be covered, because I don't know which one's really the peak's supposed to be the most most accurate, but in the field sometimes null is, sometimes peak could be off. So in this case here, my null is over here, my peak's over here. I'm gonna put my service in between two. in between the two dots that I know I'm covered within my 18 inches. You know, if the service is here, I'm covered with my line with the 18 inches rule. If it's here, if the service is here on this dot, I'm covered with the 18 inches rule this way. So always, if you have two different tones like I'm having here, always put your line for the gas service between the two dots and then you, you, you'll be covered. You know, some states are 24 inches versus Illinois is 18. So just remember, you put a line between two dots, you, you, you should be covered and you should not get that damage. So see, the compass is pointing this way, so it's telling me my service is running on an angle. So you can see it's turning on me. So my service right over here, you wanna make sure you catch that turn. So my straight over here starts making that bend. So what I do, I baby stop it to catch that bend. To see how it's snaking? And you can see, you can see long ways how the service, there's a little bend in here. So you wanna make sure you catch that bend and you have to baby step that bend to make sure you're out of money. Cause if, you're not, if you don't baby step it, the contractor will always hit the bend. They always do, they hit the bend. And that's how you do it folks. That's how simple it is. It just takes time and understanding of your equipment. So if you understand your equipment, what your equipment is, you could do anything, folks. You could do anything. All right, that's all I got for this video. Please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it a comment below. Have a great day, folks.